Okay, today we're unboxing our Smokeware flat cap, which is normally used on a barbecue grill. Um, I'm going to be using it as a burger smasher. And it is made by Gem Products. So, it does not say Smokeware on it. From what I understand, they get these from Gem Products. And then Smokeware puts their gasket, their own gasket on. And I ordered it without the gasket. First thing I notice is that it is not highly polished like it is in the pictures online. Online you can clearly see a reflection of the handle in it. I prefer the uh, texture because I think the burger will be less apt to stick to, stick to it versus a perfectly smooth surface. And as you can see, I don't know if you can, the handle is not screwed on. Uh, it looks like it was uh, jammed in there and pinned. They, they, so they did a little denting here to make sure the handle doesn't come off. It's got good weight and it's a five inch diameter. I'm not looking for a huge patty for these. Uh, I have never made a smash burger before, but what I'm aiming to do is semi recreate a steak and shake kind of patty. So smaller and really thin, so I won't be going for a medium rare, nice and pink, which I usually do with thicker burgers. But what we're going to do is we're going to wash it up and uh, we're going to make a smash burger. Make some sauce for the uh, smash burger I'm making. You see I've got some mayo in there and I'm going to add ketchup. Note to self, buy more ketchup, huh? One more little bit. Come on. Boy. Oh, gonna have to edit that out a little bit. A little time lapse. Okay, I'm gonna put a little dab of mustard. Just a little bit, because I don't want too much in there. Okay. And magic. I've got uh, slap your mama spice. Gonna add a little bit of that. It's a little salty and a little spicy. All right and I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon. Give a little bit of citrusy here. Okay and we mix. That's our sauce for our smash burger. Oh, that's good. I read somewhere online that they actually cut up the meat a little bit finer, so that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm just going to, not much, I'm just going to go through a little bit, cut it up. Okay. But, so, I chopped it up. That's it. That's what we're going to do. We got our balls. All right, we got our balls. Hamburger balls. Let's try this. All right, water is dancing. I am going to place the balls in. One here. And one here. Just gonna let them sit and cook just a little bit. And we got our smokeware flat cap ready to go. I'm gonna count to ten. You ready? Here we go. One. Yeah. 
That's a pretty good smash. Don't you think? One. Two. Off the heat. They didn't stick too bad. They didn't stick too bad. It's just a little bit. It's my first time doing a smash burger. Let's put that on there. Nice and thick because we want it messy. Okay, now someone said they put this stuff on the bottom. The toppings on the bottom. He called them the bottomings. Something like that. Let's do that. Okay, I've got tons of pickles here. We're gonna do that. Pickle. 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 Lots of pickles, okay. And a couple of onions. Can't have enough onions. That's plenty. Alright, you ready? Let's burger. I've never done this before. Probably didn't need as much cheese. One video I saw, he just had one slice of cheese. I, I'm not going to do anything else. I'm not going to put ketchup on it. Nothing. Yeah, looks pretty tasty. Let's try it. Okay. Thanks for looking. Uh, the, uh, the smokeware, I haven't washed it yet. Really good job smashing, I have to say. Pretty happy with it. So, if you're looking for a smasher, uh, ordering it from them, it wasn't as cheap as ordering it from Amazon. I don't know how easy it would be to remove the gasket on your own. But I'm pretty happy with it. Okay. Ciao.